Hey there everybody. Today is day eight of my 30 day art challenge. If you haven't been following me, go back and check the other seven days. They're not going to all be acrylic pours. They're going to be a little bit different things uh, depending on what the challenge is. So uh, today the challenge is to do something that represents God's promises to you. I'm, I'm wanting to do a peacock pour with all the brilliant colors and I have no idea how it's going to turn out but it represents beauty and color and exquisiteness, majesty and everything God promises I can have the desires of my heart if I just follow what he asked me to do. So this is God's promise to me. So today I'm going to do the sink strainer pour which I've not had much luck at. So I'm praying, keeping my fingers crossed that it really turns out beautiful today. I need a minimum of 14 ounces of paint so that's you know a fairly full container here and I'm using all deco art products. I mixed everything one to one ratio with flood Floetrol latex based which means it can only be mixed with acrylic or latex paints. So the colors I'm using today are DecoArt uh, Titanium White, Lamp Black, Primary Yellow, this one here is 24 karat gold which is Americana Decor Metallics, Bronze these are dazzling metallics. Festive green, teal, amethyst, and this is extreme sheen, which is beautiful. The extreme sheens are just fantastic. This is the most beautiful color, sapphire. And I'm going to throw into mix uh, leaf green that's metallic that I had left over from another one because there's not really a like deep green and I would like to use a deep green. So in this cup I'm going to start with a little bit of white. I did not add water or silicone to any of these colors. And I'm not really trying to layer it, I don't think. I, it's okay if it kind of mixes in a little bit. Okay, so I've got my 20 inch canvas. Wish me luck. So I have cells like crazy. <laughs> so I never can 100% promise or swear that your pour is ever, ever, ever going to turn out like what you expect it to do because it's always a magical, mystical mystery for sure. I don't know why that is. So I'm just letting it all sink in. So the one little leg didn't go out. That's interesting. So I probably could have gotten by without using the yellow. I'm taking my drips. I can try to get this to go off the edge a little bit or towards the edge anyway. I 
I've got a lot of paint on the table and I'm trying to use it as quickly as I can. Then I can control what I want it to do a little bit more. And before I go any further, my hands are dripping. I don't want to drip on the canvas. Get that little lump out of there. Got some beautiful paint on the table. I don't care for these little tiger looking areas. I don't know if this will work. I'm trying to minimize that yellow. I'm going to let some of these pour out on the table so I can dip into them. I don't think I need the purple. Or the black. And here's the beautiful blue. So let me try a popsicle stick. So really none of the purple showed up. The bronze is just along the edge of the gold where I added it at the very last. Otherwise, the, it's, the gold is all shimmery, but there's very fine shimmery pieces. So it does not look like a sink strainer pour. <laughs> I, I sometimes just don't have luck with other things that people do so well. I would love it if some of the uh, sapphire blue popped through, but I don't know that it will because there's no silicone, so there should not really be any cells that are popping through. And I'm wondering if I should try to manipulate these shapes, but there's some white under there and I don't want to pull that out, so I'm just going to leave it, I think. I could keep stretching it back this way, but then it's going to reveal more of this yellow tigery kind of effect that I do not care for. I wonder... Not sure if I should have done that or not. My plan was to kind of keep it in the center and put black around the corners, but when you're stretching that much paint at 20 inches, <clears throat> It's going to kind of want to do what it wants to do and when it stretches, so you just got to kind of go with it. Let me see. I'm going to see if I just tilt it, what happens where I added that line of gold and black. Okay, I'm not going to do it anymore because what's happening is there's some separation here and I don't want more yellow or funkiness popping through. 
So I'm going to leave. I'm not going to tilt. Okay. I'm not going to fool with it anymore. I'm going to leave it be. I'm going to bring the camera down to you. So here it is down on my level. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. But pretty much everything on the surface is metallics. Turning off some lights just to see if I can get any closer on the metallics, but I don't, I don't think. You can see the shimmer there. So there is his promise. That is day eight of my 30 day art challenge and I will be attempting this again and again and again probably so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel click on the bell at the bottom right corner if you want to get more notifications when uh, I post videos check out my Instagram account Sandra underscore Lant and follow me there and I have a link below the video for my Facebook group and I always list all the products I use. I have an Amazon link with all the recommendations, all the tools and different things I use there. So there's lots to look at below the video. Thank you so much for your support. If you can go to PayPal and give any kind of a donation that is fabulous because I spend a lot of money to do these paintings and I truly love it and I'm going to keep on doing it because this is my passion. So thank you for watching. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.